Beauty peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number four, guys. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy I'm here. I'm happy whenever I'm here. <laughs> There's a pesky fly flying around that got in here and he's just, he's being a bad fly. He keeps like flying into my ear and stuff. So if you see me start to swat something, you'll know what's going on. I tried to catch him so I could release him, but he's he's being, um, he's being stubborn. I've been playing with open cups and um, I've been really loving them. And I'm gonna do a little open cup and a little bit of swiping today. I know what I wanna do up here. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do down here, but I'll decide what I'm gonna do down here once I see what happens up here, <laughs> if that makes sense. I have taped off my canvas uh, to kind of control my open cup up here. And we are working on a 12 by 12 gallery wrapped canvas, bought 70% off, don't you know? That's always a great deal. Happens a couple of times a year at Michael's. And I am also a grateful girl because right down the street. Well, nothing's right down the street for me. We live in rural Fort Myers. We're surrounded by cows and horses, and I'm okay with that. But about five, six miles down the street is my little favorite shopping mall with my Target, my Home Depot, and they just opened up a Michael's there. So I am as happy as a, uh, a pig in poop, as my dad used to say. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a open cup up here and tilt it and maneuver it until most of the paint is off, release the tape, and then decide what we're going to do at the bottom. Our cups are yummy. This is my slop bucket paint. I have a cabinet behind me. I'll actually take a picture of it and show you where I have uh, buckets of copperies and goldies and bluesies and reddies and brownies and blackies. And this is a lovely shade of browns, which also has a bit of red in it and black. And I think I see some bronze. It's going to be hard for you to see, but it's absolutely delicious. And that is going to be our flow extender. Our colors I've been painting in all week. Why have I been painting in them all week? For two reasons. I mixed up a good amount of them. I have a good amount of them. And I absolutely love, love these colors together. This right here is a combination of golden fluids in the nickel azo gold and some leftover TLP Zeus which I call my liquid copper. And that made an absolutely lovely, lovely hue right there. This is my Mac Mac paint. That's my Arteza Bordeaux Red. This right here is Deco Art 24 karat gold in the metallics, but to tone it down so it's not quite so bossy, I added some PBO Pebio Studio Acrylics in the iridescent, iridescent precious gold right here becoming one of my new favorites. That is Modern Masters and that is their Sachet Red. Now all of our paints are mixed with about one part paint, half a part GAC, half a part Floetrol, half a part Liquitex pouring medium. And then I needed to thicken them up just a little bit. And I used to use a product called Mix Pour made by lovely Krista, but uh, she's not doing that too much anymore. So let me show you what I use. I gotta grab it. I use Oatrol. Now, how did I discover Oatrol? I discovered Oatrol because back when I heard about the magical things that Aussie Floetrol does, I ordered it from Amazon, Aussie Floetrol. This is what came up, but this is not the magical Aussie Floetrol. This is the uh, European version of our Floetrol. It uh, basically does the same thing that our flood Floetrol does, but this is five times thicker. So I keep it in a little bottle right here with Oatrol written on it. And when I need to thicken my paints up, I just give them a little bit of a squirt. So 
That's my new thicketing agent. Are there other things out there you can use? Of course there are. Golden makes a, um, um, a medium for you to use. Liquitex, they all make um, mediums that you can use to thicken up your paint. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do the top part of this painting and then I'm gonna stare at it, noodle over it, and then I'm gonna decide what we're gonna do at the bottom. Maybe we'll just have all negative space. I don't know. I'm playing, and I'm glad you're here playing with me, guys. I'm putting some tunes on for me. Tunes on for you. Let's get busy.
This was big fun for me. I really, really enjoyed it. There's one thing that um, I would do differently. You can see the chocolate uh, base coat color that is right here where it meets up kind of with this Verizon line. And that kind of throws me off a little bit. It almost looks like an error to me. So once this dries, I might go in with a brush and maybe paint that some of the Bordeaux red and maybe a little nickel azo gold. And then um, my base coat brown was a little thicker than I like it. And it was a little bit more difficult for me to move. So you can see I've already got just a little bit of a dip in my horizon line. So I'll wait till this dries rather than swiping it again. I'll wait till it dries and go in with a paintbrush um, and fix it that way. I always save just a little bit of all of my colors and um, I take the little cup and I put a bigger cup on top of it to store it and I store it right next to the painting um, underneath the netting so it's close at hand once this guy dries. But um, yeah, that was fun. Um, open cups are fun. You get wonderful, wonderful movement and swiping, especially when there's some gold in there. <laughs> it's always always an interesting thing. So let's go in for a close-up, guys. Can't wait till this dries so I can show you. That's pretty. Those are very, very, very pretty colors. Once again, Arteza Bordeaux Red. Um, golden fluids in the uh, keyword, the nickel azo gold, 24 karat gold by Deco Art. Slot bucket, which was a bunch of browns and some reds and some blacks, and uh, the modern master sachet red. Beautiful color combination, works well with the chocolate, works really well with the black, um, which we did not use in this painting. But maybe I'll do a black horizon line once this dries. I don't know. It's fun. I hope you like it, guys. Thank you always for joining me. Wishing you a wonderful evening or uh, day to come. Stay happy, stay well. Bye now.